Once you've been using AI for a while, the busy work starts to creep back in. You might find yourself repeating the same prompts every time you start a new conversation. If that sounds familiar, it's time to build your own assistant. I'm Alexandra Samuel, a tech speaker and a data journalist. In my HBR article, I walk through how to build AI assistants for writing, research, project tracking, even tech support. Here's how you can build one that actually saves you time. Different platforms work best for different things. For example, if you want to talk to your assistant out loud, I'd use ChatGPT. If you care most about writing style, try Claude. Just make sure you know what your organization allows and how each platform handles your data. So open a regular chat, describe the task you want help with. You can say something like, you're a marketing copywriter who writes in the voice of, and then insert your own name and your job title so the assistant knows who it's channeling. Test it, give it lots of feedback. You can get as specific as point two and three are great, point one is too long, point four doesn't even sound like me. Once you're getting good responses in that chat, copy the prompts and instructions that worked into a text file because you're gonna use those to build the assistant. Now it's time to write your assistant's custom instructions. They define who your assistant is, what it does, how it should behave. First, give it a persona. You're a detail-obsessed analyst working for a boss who doesn't tolerate mistakes. Next, define the task. You summarize research into bullet points. Then give it a goal. You write memos that make it easy for your boss to reach data-driven decisions. And finally, set the tone. You write in a friendly, concise voice with no jargon. You can ask the AI to draft all of that for you based on the examples you saved of the prompts and replies that worked in your test session. Give your assistant knowledge files made up of real examples of your work, like past newsletters, letters, slide decks, brand guidelines, emails, anything that helps it understand your voice and context. And now no assistant is going to be perfect on the first try. So keep adjusting your instructions, add better examples, give feedback until it works the way you need. And if you've built your own assistant, I'd love to hear how it's working. Drop a note in the comments.